Hello from Gamma. I am Lakshman Maheshwari and welcome to the second video on Indian Space Research Organization. Now let us talk about the journey of ITRO to stars and beyond. It all started with the setup of INCOSPAR in 1962. It was formed by the Department of Atomic Energy and with this work on establishing Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station turns also started. India achieved its first launch on November 21st, 1963. It was a sounding rocket which is an instrument carrying rocket designed to perform scientific experiments during its suborbital flight. The next important event in the history of Indian Space Research Program was a television program named Krishi Darshan aimed at disseminating agricultural information to rural farming audience. It commenced on 26 January 1967 and it is the longest running television series in the world. On 15th August 1969, ISRO was finally born. It was formed under Department of Atomic Energy. On June 1, 1972, Space Commission and Department of Space were set up and ISRO was brought under Department of Space. During 1975 and 96, India undertook the largest sociological experiment in the world in the form of Satellite Instructional Television Experiment or SITE. This experiment benefited around 2 lakh people covering 2,400 villages in 6 states. The development oriented programs were transmitted using American Technology Satellite ATS-6. It is also credited with training. 50,000 science teachers in primary schools in a single year. On April 19, 1975, the first Indian satellite Aryabhatta was launched. This was done using a Soviet launcher. During the years 1977-79, a sequel to SITE, which focused on television, STEPS was launched, which was for communication experiment. Satellite Telecommunication Experiments Project STEP was a joint project of ISRO and Post and Telegraph Department PNT. It used the Franco-German Symphony Satellite. On June 7, 1979, Bhaskar-1 was launched. It was an experimental satellite for Earth observations. India's first successful launch vehicle was SLV-3, which became successful in the second experimental launch when it placed Rohini satellite in orbit on July 18, 1980. On June 19, 1981, we launched Apple, an experimental geostationary communication satellite. In the photo, you can see Apple being transported on a bullock cart. April 10, 1982 was a landmark day for ISRO. Insat 1A was launched, which was a communication satellite and the first in the series of many. On April 2, 1984, ISRO planned its first manned mission with Soviet Union. On March 17, 1988, IRS 1A was launched, which was the first operational Indian remote sensing satellite. On October 15, 1994, ISRO finally mastered the technology of Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. IRS P2 satellite was successfully placed in polar synchronous orbit by the second developmental launch of PSLV. On April 18th, 2001, we finally demonstrated our GSLV or Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle technology. The first developmental launch of GSLV D1 took place from Sriharikota and GSAT 1 satellite was placed into orbit. On January 22nd, 2007, Earth re entry was achieved. ISRO successfully recovered SRE 1 which entered the Earth's atmosphere. It descended over the Bay of Bengal, about 140 kilometers east of Sriharikota. On October 22, 2008, ISRO started its moon exploration mission. PSLV C 11 successfully launched Chandrayaan 1 from Sriharikota. It performed high resolution remote sensing of the moon in visible, near infrared, low energy X rays, and high energy X ray regions. On July 1st, 2013, 
ISRO laid the ground stone for India's own navigation system. IRNSS-1A was launched by PSLV C-22 spacecraft, which was India's first dedicated navigational satellite. The launch took place from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. On November 5, 2013, India created history by launching Mars Orbiter mission, which was successful in its first go. It explored and observed Mars surface features, morphology, mineralogy, and the Martian atmosphere. It searched for methane in the Martian atmosphere to explore the possibility or the past existence of life on the planet. On January 25, 2017, ISRO successfully ground tested its indigenously developed cryogenic upper stage for GSLV Mark III. This was done at ISRO Propulsion Complex in Mahindragiri. Yet another feather in the cap of ISRO was added on 15 February 2017 when PSLV C-37 placed 104 satellites in polar sun-synchronous orbit. It carried Cartosat 2 series satellite for Earth observation and two ISRO nano satellites. Besides, it carried 101 other nano satellites. The international satellites were launched as a part of the commercial arrangements by Antrix Corporation, a government of India company and the Department of Space. It is a commercial arm of ISRO. A major breakthrough for ISRO came on June 5, 2017, when GSLV Mark III D1 was launched. It is capable of launching 4 ton class of satellites to geosynchronous transfer orbit and it was successful in its first developmental flight. It launched GSAT 19 satellite from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sahar Srihari Kota. It also successfully used electric propulsion system and worked with just 25% of the fuel normally required. This video was brought to you by Gamma IS Classes. Thank you for watching and have a good day.